Welcome to the Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have a Gurkha Heritage in Toro. Uh, pretty decent looking cigar, although I haven't, you know, cracked it open. Got the nice foot band there, green. It's different. Got a Cita band around it. Big old cigar band. Did a straight cut. And the wrapper cap is coming undone right there. That's not good. Hmm. It's very loose straw. Super loose. But it's got a nice flavor to it though, say that. So let's see how easy or not they made this. I'm gonna go with the not the tape on there was a little tight. They got tape around the cedar band too, and it's really tight. I hope it's not messing up the wrapper the process there. No, it didn't seem to hurt it. Nice smell in there too. It smells a lot like what's coming out of the cold draw. I think this is going to be a very easy to light cigar. It's super loose. Not a bad looking wrapper. Pretty smooth. <clears throat> On the band itself, it basically says how Gurkha cigars got their name from the, the British and the fighters they encountered, encountered and they were called Gurkhas. The cigar here is a 6.5 by 54 Toro, rated as medium to full strength. I got this at the Rocky Mountain Cigar Festival. So it's a little over three months old. These sell for about $8.50 on Cigars International. Like I suspected, pretty easy draw. Hopefully that tightens up a little bit. This cigar, the wrapper is Ecuador Habano. It's made in Nicaragua. And this is going to be a problem, the entire cigar coming undone there. This is made by American Caribbean Tobacco. Now, things I've heard about Gurkha, almost to a man, they're almost all negative. I've only smoked one other Gurkha, and that was the Class Region, which I thought was a really, really good cigar. See, what's happening here is the wrapper is coming undone there. So I have to think about it every time I put it to my mouth. Um, <clears throat> that company, American uh, Caribbean Tobacco, also make La Silla, including one of my favorite cigars, which is the Luchador, and Tarano. I'm not sure which Tarano's they make there. This is a fairly new cigar. From what I read, it came out in 2015 IPCPR. Still got an area there that's doesn't seem to look lit. So I'm a little, a little leery. I mean, it's a wrapper that I think I will like. Um, what I've heard about Gurk is that they're, they're made by a bunch of different companies. There's really no uniformity to them as far as from one brand of Gurkha to another brand of Gurkha. For instance, like this one here, made uh, by this company who makes for others too. Always makes me wonder, on cigars like this, does it go by another name with a different band on it? Different brand altogether. Um, I did a video about that, about um, badge technology, usually with cars and stuff, but always makes me wonder about cigars too. Okay, the draw is improving now. Medium body, not too much strength to it yet. Actually, not a not a bad smell either. Oof, little bite there on the on the on the wash. I didn't notice it really on uh, just the foot smoke coming off. The 
So Cigars International has this to say about this cigar. A worthy heritage. Gurkha has worked hard to achieve their lofty status and recognition as a Rolls Royce of cigars. From their costly super premium blends like His Majesty's Reserve to the more affordable everyday options like Park Avenue, there's a Gurkha to suit any palate or budget. Hailing from American Caribbean Cigars in Nicaragua, the Gurkha Heritage features an Ecuador Habano Rosado wrapper over top of Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan Dominican and Pennsylvanian long fillers. This medium to full body morsel will smack your palate with rich flavors that work together beautifully to deliver a savor, savory and satisfying smoke. Although geared towards the aficionado, this blend is accessible and enjoyable for anyone. getting a little bit of a longer finish and it's not a bitter one which is nice I mean, to me a lot of times longer finishes means sometimes there's bitterness which some people like must there must be a lot of people that like it because fairly high rated cigars or cigars I hear people saying they like you know the long bitter finish I don't know maybe it's a coffee drinker thing or a strong beer drinker thing Hmm. Not a bad start. Good smoke coming off of the cap there, which hopefully that holds together. The draw is doing a little bit better now. So, don't know how this one's going to go. Always have high hopes going into all cigars. Also, don't know how long it sat and what conditions before I had it for three months in my humidor. It's 33% humidity out here. really bug me. Yes, I could just tear that off, but I hate... The binder is not meant to be used as wrapper. I don't want to use the binder as the wrapper against my mouth. It just gives it a gritty kind of feeling to it. It's, it's not as good as smooth, nice wrapper. But we'll see what happens there. It's not looking too promising there. So let's keep going and see what happens. About 40 minutes into this Gurkha Heritage. Seems to be burning kind of quick. The draw has tightened up a little bit to being pretty good. But, you know, dealing with binder on your mouth is, it lets air through sometimes on the sides. Um, so, you know, it's, it's the flavor. This reminds me a lot of a Hoya Red, which if you see my review on the Hoya Red, it didn't do very well. <laughs> uh, it's got a Habano wrapper, all of from two different countries in this case, so. Uh, body, I would say mild to medium body, not a whole lot to it. Um, if this is medium to full strength, like it said on Cigars International, there must be some nicotine lurking in there that I just don't sense yet. Maybe it's going to pick up because it's, it's pretty light. I would say mild to medium. Um, not a bad, a decent burn. The ash at first fell off real quick, but that was just this is a really small area, and then after that, it's, it's held on pretty good. So at first I was a little worried, it was, I had to double check make sure it was long filler because it was just falling off crumbling so quick there at the beginning. But it's putting out a decent amount of smoke, staying lit, getting a little wavy there, but um, keep going see what happens. Well, I'm going to wrap up this review of this Gurkha Heritage, this is an hour and a half in. Um, it's okay. I, I probably wouldn't get more. It's, it's just it's just average. The thing, the only thing I'd say that's a little irritating about it is that um, it's mild to medium in body, but there is some strength in there. So to me, that's a double negative where it's not really complex with flavor, but yet it's got nicotine in there enough to make you take notice of it. Not something I'm really looking for. So I wouldn't say it's in my profile. I would rather go the other way around where it's a more fuller body, more complex with less nicotine. That's my perfect cigar. But you know, everybody's uh, opinions, voices, or opinions and flavors and you know, palettes all vary. But um, so yeah, there's some strength. Uh, the only reason why it scored as high as it did is because <clears throat> it didn't really need any touch up or relights, very little in that. And it drew fine. A um, little bit of air coming through there, but that was partially because of the torn cap on there. But uh, like I said, it reminds me a lot of the Hoya Red. So, but you know, 
if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a, a decent little buzz off an otherwise mild to medium cigar, then this might be up your uh, alley. I end up scoring it a 91, and that's mostly based on, well, my curve, number one, but also uh, the fact that it, it drew fairly well, put off a decent amount of smoke. Not a bad waft there, a little sweetness to that. So this has been uh, the Gurkha Heritage in Toro. I am Chris at Stogie Palace. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos. See you later.